You can read Disco's thoughts on Glasgow's pursuit of the PRO 14 title in European campaign as well as Scotland's international fortunes, at his excellent blog Top of the Moon. Co 7.45 Murrayfield Saturday the 28th of April live on Sky Sports Action 3, it's the magic number apparently. Hopefully that's the case for the third Edinburgh-Glasgow fixture in the space of four months as part of a rivalry that's maybe not provided the greatest entertainment in recent years. This won't be the first time the two sides have met three times in a season after a trio of Scottish inter-district championship matches in both 1998-99 and 1999-2000. In fact in 2002-03 the pro teams played no less than four matches in a single campaign providing a veritable feast of deja vu action for Scottish rugby fans. Let's brush over the fact that Glasgow only won one of those encounters, teams at Edinburgh 15 Blair Kinghorn 14 Dougie 5 13 James Johnston 12 Christine 11 Duhan van der Merwe 10 Jakob van der Walt 9 Sam Hidalgo Klein 1 Jordan Late 2 Stuart McInally Captain 3 Simon Bergen 4 Ben Tullis, 5 Grant Gilchrist 6 Magnus Bradbury 7 Jamie Ritchie 8 William A. Mata Substitute 16 Neil Cochran 17 Alan Dell 18 WP Nell 19 Lewis Carmichael 20 Cornell Dupree's 21 Nathan Fowles 22 Duncan Weir 23 Mark Bennett Glasgow Warriors 15 Stuart Hawk 14 Tommy Seymour 13 Nick Gregg 12 Sam Johnson 11 DTH Van Der Merwe 10 Finn Russell 9 George Horn 1 Alex Allen 2 Fraser Brown 3 Xander Fagerson 4 Tim Swinson 5 Johnny Gray 6 Matt Fagerson 7 Callum Shubins 8 Ryan Wilson Captain Substitute 16 George Turner 17 Jamie Body 18 CU Ohala New Kanuka 19 Robert Harley 20 Chris Fusaro 21 Henry Pyre goes 22 Peter Horn 23 Lee Jones head to head back 3 AD V Glasgow centers even half backs AD V Glasgow front row AD V Edinburgh second row AD V Edinburgh back row even subs even once a warrior erstwhile lead and buggers the respective benches are a haven for ex Weegees Duncan Weir Mark Bennett and rehabilitated Ember men George Turner Lee Jones Match day milestones, it's 100 up for DTH van der Merwe as he becomes the latest player to join the ranks of the Warrior Centurions. DTH made his Glasgow debut back on 3 October 2009 against Cardiff Blues and becomes just the third foreign international among the Centurions after Cook Islander Tommy Hayes and fellow Canadian Kevin Kachuk. Warriors, one to watch, besides his starring role in the Instagram videos of skipper Ryan Wilson the pocket rocket that is Nick Grigg has been having another strong season for Glasgow. He's the club's top man for defenders beaten and his combination of good running lines and ability to stay on his feet make him a potent attacking threat. Squigsy combines well with inside centre Sam Johnson in a partnership that surely has to be named Sick Jog. A quick mention for Edinburgh's Neil Cochran who will be playing one of his last games before he calls time on a lengthy career. So lengthy in fact that he scored a try for Rotherham Titans in a friendly against the Warriors all the way back in 2005. Among his opponents that day were current Edinburgh chief executive John Petrie and the Black and Reds new signing for next season John Barkley. The Edinburgh v Glasgow fixture in the PRO 12 PRO 14 era 3 wins 1 draw 3 losses 1 losing bonus point 15 points out of a possible 30 50%. This season's previous matchup 9 clean breaks by Glasgow compared to just 2 for Edinburgh. The East Coasters played a canny game after going down to 14 men early on following Simon Berg and sending off. They sacrificed most opportunities to get their wide men involved in favor of pragmatism and taking control of the game. This is a more confident Edinburgh side though and if they keep 15 men on the pitch they will look to get their very dangerous runners like Blair Kinghorn and Duhan van der Merwe into the game on a regular basis. 26 tackles attempted by Warriors open side flanker Matt Smith. This is a fine example of how Glasgow's young guns have been like hyperactive puppies this season with work rates that are frequently topping the stats among their teammates. That said on this occasion, Dave Rennie will be hoping his side have a bit less to do in terms of defensive duties and spend more time attacking their capital cousins with ball in hand. 31 percentage of territory for the Warriors in the second half at Murrayfield. Edinburgh also dominated possession in the second period, 62%, and did everything they needed to do to come away with an unlikely win. Glasgow need to spend a lot more time on the ball and a lot more time in the home side's half of the pitch if they want to contain Richard Cockerill's resurgent troops. 
Home and Away, Edinburgh Last 6 and PRO 14, HWWWWL Glasgow Last 6 and PRO 14, ALWDLLL Officials, Referee, Nigel Owens, WRU, AR1, Mike Adamson, SRU, AR2, Dunks McClement, SRU, TMO, Neil Patterson, SRU, Mr. Owens Record and Warriors Fixtures from 2013 to 2017. Matches 11, 118 for all refs, average penalty count 15.1, 19.1 all refs, average penalties for Glasgow 6.6, 9.6 all refs, average penalties against Glasgow 8.5, 9.5 all refs, yellow cards 4 in total, 1.0 per game all refs, this will be Mr. Owens, 34th time refereeing a Warriors game or arguably 35th, the very first time Glasgow encountered the future test match official in a competitive fixture was in Pontypridd in November 2000. Mr Owens had to abandon the Welsh-Scottish League match at halftime due to the pitch being flooded. Since then he's been a regular for big games involving Glasgow. This will be the second time he has taken charge of an 1872 Cup clash. It's also the third time the Welsh whistler has taken charge of a Warriors match in the current campaign. The previous two games have seen a fairly even penalty count but, contrary to his usual reticence to dismiss players, Mr Owens issued both Munster and Cardiff Blues with a yellow and red card each when they played against Glasgow's finest. Edinburgh might need to be on their best behaviour if they don't want to become part of an unwanted hat-trick, although maybe going down to 14 men is a tactical option for the home side after last time.